What's up, Internet? My name is Matt Gisantana. Welcome to The Office, where we discuss tech and the world around it. If this is your first time watching my videos, I discuss photography, videography, mobile technology, and lifestyle technology. And today, I want to show you something that you can use as a photographer and videographer to make your life easier. And that is the Peak Design Slide Camera Strap. Now, I typically am very vanilla when it comes to camera straps. Actually, in my history of being a photographer, I've always used the standard camera strap that comes in the box with the camera. The problem with the camera strap is that sometimes it gets in the way when you're trying to mount it on the tripod. There's been situations where it actually has gotten in my shot when I was trying to take a photo. So sometimes it gets in the way and sometimes it can be a real bothersome when you don't really need it. Well, this features a quick release that you can take your strap on and off and also has some other really nice features that gives you some versatility in the way that you position your camera and how you use it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the unboxing and first impressions. This is my first time trying out a Peak Design camera strap. I have several of their other products. So I'm excited to add this to the entire system as I have the everyday sling and the capture plate. So all of this should work well together. All right, let's get to it. So this is the Peak Design sling camera strap. And for purposes of locating it on the internet. That is the product code SLAS3. So this is the ash colorway. And as you can see, this is a very thick strap with some padding along the top part, which makes it very comfortable to hold on your neck for heavy cameras. Also, you can see you can have it in a sling style. Um, and there goes the quick connect tabs that I was telling you guys about. So you can see here that there's different positions you can wear it in. Again, across the chest, over the shoulder, and across your neck. That is exactly what I need with this camera, um, especially with the new cage that I added. It's kind of heavy now, a little bit heavier. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed and let's check everything out. So. I honestly can't believe it's taken me this long to buy a camera strap. I mean, as long as I've been doing this, it's kind of shameful. Uh, so you get a nice little bag. That's nice. Wow, it's a pretty big bag. And inside that bag, you get another Allen key tool. I have a couple of these already. And you get a attachment this goes on the bottom of the camera so this allows you to hold it across your chest in a nice way where you can lift it up and shoot and there you go that's where the allen key goes to tighten it up and this is where you do the quick connect to connect it to the camera strap let's go ahead and get this it feels it feels and looks a lot like a seat belt So the way you get it out is pretty cool. You just push this in and slide it up. And I kind of like that they did that because it kind of demonstrates how this whole system works, which is maybe intentional. I don't know, who knows? So we'll go ahead and Go ahead and get this out. I don't like to damage my packaging whenever I unbox things, so I'm sorry if this process annoys y'all. Oh, all right, here we go, done. Let's clean out all the trash and all the extra stuff that we don't need. All right, so here are the two Quick tabs. We have one that goes on the bottom of the camera. We got this one right here that will go in the camera holes, camera strap holes, and this one will go in the other camera strap holes. 
And first impressions of this strap is that it feels like a really, really sturdy seat belt. But you guys can see here, it's very thick, very strong. Um, you have some options here to like loosen it up so that you can, you know, pull and make it longer or shorter. And you just lock it back. So it gives you an opportunity to make sure you know that the camera isn't gonna slide. I like this a lot where you have a, a uh, option to lock it. That makes you feel a lot more secure, especially when you have expensive gear. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this installed. Um, actually, before I do, uh, let me demonstrate a little bit of the padding. So it does feel pretty sturdy. It has some nice grip. So I assume that you can flip it one way uh, for your neck and another way for maybe your clothes so that you don't have to worry about it sliding. Uh, but this grip is pretty nice. It has a nice um, feel to it. It feels like it would last for a long time. Um, nice Peak Design logo there. Um, another thing about Peak Design is, is they do really nice branding, very minimal. Um, it's not too ostentatious. That's a word of the day. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get it installed. All right. So here's my EOS R, and here's the Canon strap that I mentioned before that I usually have on here. And so as you can see, this is how hard it is to take the strap on and off to get out of the way. Um, so this Peak Design strap is, oh, man, it's a dream come true. That's probably what I'm gonna use this pouch for is to put my Canon strap in there so I don't lose it. Because of my luck, I will lose it. So every time I want to take the strap off, I have to go through this process. So yeah, it's, it's a pain. Here we go, done. Okay, right. so I did just get that one on. Uh, pro tip, you're gonna want to kind of angle it up a little bit and that will help you get it to go straight up just like that. So that's how you do it. It wasn't too hard, I just had some issues. Um, also, you're not gonna be taking these off. These are essentially gonna stay on the camera cage at all times. So basically when you get home or when you're trying to take the strap off, all you have to do is just push this in, take it off, and you can keep it just like this and let it dangle. And it stays out of the way and not bothering the crap out of you while you try to record. And then to connect it, you just stick it in here Just like that, nice and secure. And again, there's the strap. There you go. And that's it. That's how you install the Peak Design sling. Um, and like I said, so you see here, it's a pretty sturdy strap. It's like a, again, it feels like a seat belt, but if you wanna remove it, you just push down just like that. See how quick that it was? See how quick that was? Like I didn't have to worry about. For today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below. I'm here to help you if you need it. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Also hit the notification button too, so that you'll get notified when I drop a new video. If you have any suggestions for any other videos or other camera straps that you want me to try out, I'm all ears. Let me know. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay up.